Hello everyone, welcome to Chirac SQL Server Debut Tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to set up the email notification for the job failure on SQL Server. So, we will be using the two ways to in SQL Server using the SQL Server agent notification and another is using sp underscore send underscore db mail stored procedure. So, this is my stored procedure. Later on, we will use the stored procedure. Now, I am going to use uh with the sql server agent notification so go to the your sql server management studio just connect with the your sql server instance there is a last sql server agent and there is a uh, jobs are there so click on the jobs there is a multiple jobs you will uh, get the list of the jobs and the status is running or not run uh, not running the status will get so this is my job i am going to say uh, configure the notification for particular job so right click on the test and this is my job name so go to the property and there is a general so this is my uh, name of the job so i'm going to rename my job critical production production job so critical critical production job so again i'm right clicking uh, right click on that go to the property so in steps steps is there there is a one jobs uh, one steps is already defined all database view and go if you want to go detail on that go to the edit and there is a, a command is there select name from sys databases so later on we'll come back on this one before that so sending the notification sending the notification using the sql server agent we need to configure the a deep database mail so for the database mail i have already pop out the video i already uploaded the video in youtube so you can go through that and uh, there is a quite simple steps so creating the database mail so with that so configure the database mail and for for this we need the alerts alerts and operator so uh, create the operator so operator means that whoever that get the email uh, notification alert so we'll create the operator for that so operators are list uh, listed here and now i'm again going for the my jobs so this is my critics critical production critical production uh, job so right click on that go to the property and now i'm going to set up the notification so go to the notification there is a option to action to perform when the job to complete so click uh, click on the notification uh, email and you have a pay pager option is there not send option is automatically delete job if you want to uh, once it success automatically de uh, delete the job one time job you can select on that and write the windows application event log so it will be available with the windows uh, application event log so you can check with that also so email i am going to send so there is an option through dba so i am selecting dba and uh, when job when the email notification will fire so when the job succeed and when the jobs fail and when the jobs complete so as per your requirement just select that one so i'm selecting the when the job fail i don't want the mail notification when the job succeed so when the jobs fail so click on the okay so again i am going for the critical job notification click on okay Tips. so there is a one uh, option is there with the job with this job i'm going to property i'm going to change the uh, name for the i'm changing the query so it will going to be fell then i will get the alert uh, notification and go to the advanced there is your own succession uh, the quit quit the job reporting success quit the job reporting failure uh, as per your requirement you can select that and uh, quit the job reporting failure or go to the next step we'll just later on we'll so go through that and there's your option include the step 
uh, output on the history whatever the output history file is there it will be attached with that so if you want then we can attach that one there is a schedule option is there alert notification let me uh, let me start the job and we'll see what will be the output so job will fails now so i will get the uh, notification regarding this job failure I got the job notification failure so this job is failed SQL Server job system critical job protection job complete on Chirag Lappy so critical job failures on this date this time one second failed so message will be the all jobs uh, all database job failure is there so using uh, using the SQL Server agent we can configure the job failure now I am going to remove the notification Now I'm going to use the uh, script for job failure notification. Right click on the properties. Uh, right click on the critical job production and uh, go to the properties. Go to the steps. And I'm using the uh, new steps. Step name. Notification and the T SQL script database I am going to select the MSDB I am going to write the script here so mail will come with uh, from the uh, mail will I am going to change the mail address here Email from the production server and the subject with the job cell failed. Now clicking go to this. Going to the advanced. So in the first job, I'm going to uh, edit first step and uh, go to the advanced. And if jobs reporting success and job go to the notification if with the job of uh, reporting success if, if this is going to be a failure so whenever the failure will come then it will go to the go to the step 2 that is the notification so there is a multiple steps are there so clicking ok that will on the success thing the go to the next step okay. let me start the job so both the job is a success now let me check into my mail so i got the mail email from production server database server job has failed In this video, we will learn how to set up the email notification of job failure or job success as per your requirement. You can just uh, configure that and using the SQL Server agent notification, another is SP send DB mail stored procedure. Hope this will help. Thank you for watching.